Hello, I'm Brian Schwartz. I'm an interventional cardiologist at uh, Kettering Medical Center in Dayton, Ohio. And I want to tell you about an experience uh, I had about 15 years ago, just uh, leading up to the very first AMEN conference in 2005. I had a patient who had a very critical lesion in their left main coronary artery. And the blood pressure just quickly dampened as soon as we engaged the coronary uh, with a catheter. So at that time, the whole team of 20 different people from the, the operating room and the cath lab were scrambling around with this patient and explaining to her what was gonna happen. They were getting her ready to go quickly back into the operating room and the anesthesiologist just stopped everyone and said, can I have your attention for a moment? I'd like everyone to be quiet, I'm gonna say a prayer. And I just became convicted at that moment that I should have been the one to do that. But I didn't know how. Hi, I'm Mark Finley, and I'm really excited about sharing with you some thoughts on prayer and healing. Over the years, I've seen the impact that prayer has had both on physicians as they've prayed with their patients and on the patients themselves. As doctors and dentists are praying with their patients, as medical professionals are praying with their patients, it makes a dramatic difference. One of the reasons why physicians aren't praying or dentists aren't praying as much with their patients because they're kind of anxious about doing it and they may not even know how to do it. Dr. Brian Schwartz was a young physician. He was quite anxious about praying with his patients and let's let Dr. Schwartz share a humorous story. I stitched up his ear um, and at the very end, I came out and reported to him what I'd done, and he said, well, very good job, but are you going to do the most important thing uh, for this patient? And I thought for a moment, what's the most important thing? And he said, are you going to have a prayer? Now, I wasn't prepared to do that. I was uncomfortable. I was nervous. I had already forgotten the gentleman's name, and he was very hard of hearing. And so I was there yelling in his ear, Lord, please bless this gentleman. And... Uh, it just seemed so awkward, I never wanted to do that again. The mentorship of Pastor Mark Finley, who I heard at the very first Amen conference, that had encouraged me to go back and begin to pray with my patients. I learned how to just simply ask them if they'd be willing to have a prayer. And as I began to do this, over the next few weeks and months, I quickly got comfortable praying with every one of my patients. In the last few years, there's less than a dozen times that I've had patients say no or be uncomfortable having me say a simple prayer. Many of them said this is the first time that they have ever been asked to have a prayer by a physician. Dr. Schwartz has learned a great deal since that experience many years ago. He prays with his patients now on a very regular basis and feels comfortable in doing that. So right now, let's go to Dr. Harvey Hahn, a cardiologist and would discover something about his journey in praying with his patients. Sometimes I actually I'm ashamed of being ashamed of God and that's a horrible thing but I think I'm finally overcoming that by, by his grace and now I talk much more openly to everyone about God and that's because every day little by little my faith is growing that even if people don't agree with me or, or even laugh at me or reject what I'm saying is that I can still do this. I can still go out there and you know, be a witness for him. I think doctors now, nurses now, there's such a huge time crunch that if I pray, it's gonna take some time, may lead to more discussion, and then we're gonna be behind. But I think the best thing is if you pray and that opens up discussion about God, then that'd be awesome. That's gonna be better than any kind of therapeutic thing you're gonna do for him. So I think that realizing that more time in that area could lead to a better utilization of your time, which is bringing them to God, is well worth being a little bit late for the next uh, appointment. Ministry is not simply preaching, but it's what goes on in a physician's office when he prays with his patients, when he reaches out with the healing hands of Christ to touch them. Here's Dr. Schwartz. Initially, I began to pray with an occasional patient that I thought looked rather spiritual or clean cut in my judgment. But uh, after a short time, I realized that I really needed to offer this to all my patients. And it wasn't long before I realized that the ones that actually appreciated it the most and um, 
literally got tears in their eyes and just really thanked me were the ones that I wasn't picking out to pray with. Early on in that experience, I had the opportunity to meet a patient just like that named Ron. Ron came to my office as he'd been in the emergency room with some sharp chest pain. We realized very quickly that it wasn't his heart, but Ron weighed about 380 pounds. His cholesterol was over 300. He was diabetic. He uh, smoked a pack and a half to two packs per day, and he binge drank on the weekends. I just uh, was convicted to share with him some principles um, about what he could do to change his lifestyle. And then I said, Ron, one of the things I offer to do is to have a prayer. Would it be okay if I prayed with you? And he got tears in his eyes. There is a power to make change that only comes from patients being able to tap into a divine source. And by being willing to pray with Ron, I gave him the power and the ability to make those changes in his life. Ron says that from the day he left my office, he stopped smoking. He never drank again. He joined a church. His marriage is doing very well. And because he lost nearly 100 pounds, his cholesterol is down in the normal range. He's no longer diabetic and he no longer needs to be on medications. That was a testament to prayer. The power of prayer works in many different ways. It has the power to help people make radical changes in their lives. It has the power to give them confidence in the physician that is about to do a, a procedure on them. It opens the door to a spiritual conversation. Praying with patients has revolutionized my practice. I now believe that I am doing medical ministry. It's no longer just a job. One of the things that I've noticed about physicians who are praying with their patients is the dynamic change that takes place in their own practice. They look at their practice no longer merely as people walking through the door, as statistics or numbers, but they see everyone in a holistic view of physical, mental, and spiritual modality. They see people differently now. They recognize that medicine and dentistry is an opportunity to share the love of Jesus. Every office becomes a mission center. It becomes an opportunity to share with people the things of eternity. Prayer opens up those kind of discussions.